Look, I, I know you got a good story, okay? Just just tell me. Or or another story. It's a promise, right? People still do that? I promise not to tell. <sighs> Fuck me, honey, will you turn it down? Still, it would be nice to get like, you know, some signs of life or some closure or something. How do I even know if this was real? I mean, how do I know she's not some figment of an imagined memory? You can't. You say that like it's supposed to comfort me. <laughs> Another story would be great. I mean, if we held on to every single moment, our brains would explode. You know? That's why all that matters is right now. Because it's the only thing that's real. I want to hear a good story. Let's go. You are going to give me my room. Take it. You need it. So much for fucking them. Sharing. And the brain. <laughs> but you promised. Oops. You move. I cut her throat. Kathy. I, I, I can handle this. Peter, I don't think that you can. Can you just trust me? Maybe I could if you would stop making asinine mistakes. Oh, there it is. Happy anniversary. Right back at you, honey. Well, you know what? Why don't you just take Kevin and go back to Canada with all the other communists? This doesn't even make sense. Is there anything else you want to get off your chest? Yeah, I don't like cheap jewelry. Well, excuse me for trying to do something nice before asking you to move into my apartment. I want to move into your shithole apartment. Well, then don't. You're getting us a house. Why should I? Because I'm pregnant. Why don't you just drop it and accept that you're an asshole? I'm not an asshole. I just want to hear your story. Yeah, well, I think you have just enough.